Breaking news. Buhari will understand our threats in 90 days. Ninja Delta Adventures. <laughs> They don't, they don't tie rapper, my dear. They matter, and not be here, do. Hmm. Remember, say, a jaw leaders, they don't go me, Buhari, go discuss their own pockets. Niger Delta Avengers say, we are watching, you know, we give this guy automaton, make it a watch and make it not understand us, make it do it in a one do. My dear, things have gone from bad to worse. In case you're not aware, there are a lot of fraction group. Even the Niger Deltans are saying we want our own republic. Now they have granted Una and the Kano is incarcerated. They've declared the Sunday Igbo who wanted. And uh, we know what happened today. If you are not aware with regards to Duduwa's um, nation agitation, the rally that was supposed to hold in Lagos State peaceful, that the soldiers were supposed to be there to, pro to pro provide security for these people rather than we are the ones causing more trouble than you can ever imagine. What a exactly is going on why did how did we get here in the first place now so the country reach you now so these things they happen please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time let's understand what is happening buhari will understand our threat in 90 days ninja delta avengers responds <laughs> now so the matter reach you brigadier to you Prince Will is the first female commander of the Niger Delta Avenger, the group that was behind the series of attack on Oya installation in the De Niger Delta in early 2016. Since then, the group had been quiet until last week when it issued a 90 days ultimatum to the federal government to address some pressing issues demands. It took some guts and guys and girls for the Whistler's correspondence in River State, Ochin Okoro, to get an interview appointment with Prince Will. The correspondent was blindfolded for much of the two and a half hour trip on the sea to the camp of the Avengers, where Prince Will is the commander. The correspondent conducted a 30 minutes interview wearing the blindfold and denied any chance to take any form of pictures. The commanders responded to the questions were brisk and short. Extracts. It takes loyalty, dedication to command and get any leadership ladder. It was my case. This was my case. We have been on this struggle together and I was chosen to lead the team. The team found me worthy of the position and collectively installed me here today. How long have you been with the group? I have been with this group and noble adventure for over 10 years and still counting. It is a call for life and I'm glad to be serving actually. I pledge to forever remain committed and give my best to the actualization of our goal for life. Are there other women like you in the adventure? You can see that you can see that yourself. At least you can see the difference from what you are seeing. We have many female soldiers who are as strong, committed like myself, and I see them taking over from us when need be at the time of retirement. I wish from here that one of our Niger Delta states will be will understand our plight. Injustice, oppression, intimidation, denial of our personal right, possession, oil spill, degradation, marginalization, and a lot more. Do you know that the Minister of Petroleum is from the North? Do you know that the, the South does not have anything to do with the petroleum industry in this country? Investigate. I was never born this way. Our government and leaders made us tough. This path we have taken will never stop or cease until our demands are met and many Manifested. Your group gave federal government ultimatum. Are you satisfied with the response of the presidency? We gave an ultimatum and Buhari is taking us for granted. <laughs> he feels what we want against our metrics, but he will understand at the expiration of the deadline if our demands are not met. What we will come out with and what and things will be worse than he can ever imagine. What he has ever seen for years. Mark my words. He can play with other groups, but believe me, our ultimatum stands and must be as we act. 
since 2016, the agitation has died, died down in the Niger Delta. Why are you agitating again? Since 2016, we kept our cool and con concentrated on strengthening our army. We decided to see if the so-called federal government would do the right thing and act without being pushed or reminded. It pained me heavily that Buhari-led administration is just a bench on and bent on causing chaos rather than solving the problem facing this country, especially the Niger Delta region. Our jaw leaders and other Niger Delta group have gone and done their best already. This time we are back and the storm will be massive, I can assure you. We are the Niger Delta Avengers, not IPUB. I personally have no business with any other group. I will equally feel the agitation, but I tell you, I tell you sincerely, we don't have business with any other group. We are ready to take it by the own. We have asked for restructuring, but it's not forthcoming. Breaking will be better so we can have our resources to ourselves, manage it and utilize it accordingly so that our children can go to school. Politically, we've been hijacked. We have nothing to do with the petroleum industry in this country. Our people, graduates, have no job. We don't need restructuring again, I tell you. I know countless letters, pleads and calls that have been made towards the centralization of restructuring and federation but to no avail and that he did no positive result at all. All we hear are stories and excuses from the federal government. All we have ever thought or asked for from them is a fair treatment, but they have never heeded to our advice. So, breaking up Nigeria, will it be better for everyone? Yes, I think, and this is what the Niger Delta stand for. It is time we achieve our dream and purpose, and Muhammad Buhari will understand what we are talking about. At the expiration of 90 days, you watch and see you would tell yourself Nigeria will burn. Hello, my wonderful people. Now, so the matter reach you. Niger that are not the play. Hmm. Boys don't verse. They say where well, they watch Buhari, they watch and with the drama when they play. 90 days go talk waiting really be, waiting they happen for this country. As we they speak, Buhari, they watch and me they go. If they watch and me they go. Say at the end of 90 days, <laughs> he go no waiting really touch him, you know. Recently, the, the Niger Delta leaders, some major leaders have gone to Buhari, he use English, they say they say he don't hear what they talk. They say they want restructuring, but I say me they go meet them. Um, when they go meet a uh, national assembly, national assembly said they don't feel restructure the country. They bring a, they bring a, a, constitu a constitution, constitution, they do constitution that they use until they turn around. Nigeria, I tell you again, it's in a scam. Oh. <clears throat> my brother, my sister, in a scam. They hear oh, things are happening. Oh, this thing in a scam. Oh. <clears throat> this country is safe. Eh? Buhari is safe, and all of them are scam. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, mona subscribe. We they, we they give on our latest news, authentic, keeping you up to date. Now the matter of business, now waiting the happen or we don't go let ourselves they humiliated or carried away the struggle is real leave us a comment god bless you don't forget say you get voice so don't let anybody intimidate you god bless you have a fantastic day from us is bye for now bye